The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed on The Slandering Table are for entertainment purposes. The following conversations are candid conversations amongst friends and guests of the show. We never intend to offend any people, communities, or organizations. We're simply here to have a dialogue. And if any of these thoughts, views, or opinions expressed on The Slandering Table hurt your feelings, we recommend you find a different podcast to listen to, viewer discretion advised, and of course, enjoy the show. Hello, hello, good morning, good evening, good night, you know the spiel. Welcome back to The Slandering Table. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo! Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> You're not going to say it. <laughs> You're not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> say it. <laughs> he fighting it so bad. He is, yo. Welcome back to The Slandering Table. Um, we have a very special guest on the episode. It's mm-hmm. dick writing. <laughs> <laughs> it's dick I'll let her introduce herself. Um, my name is Chantel. Speak right I, into the mic if you oh, can. Oh, yeah, amazing. Sorry. You're going to get my, used to it. You'll get okay. used to it. Go ahead. So my name is Chantel. I'm a native of Stamford, Connecticut. Um, a little about me, I work in the city right now um, in like corporate sales, but I hope to one day be a full-time entrepreneur with my web design and art business. Um, so I'm really excited to be be on here you guys are oh, really yeah. fucking funny yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> that was a nice <laughs> thorough self intro that was good that was good most people are just like my name's ashley no yeah. it's like the my business meeting and me i'm like hi my name is Chantel. like how are you and going into it but yeah um yeah so um we got Chantel on the table today uh who are these niggas over here <laughs> yeah Yo, you know who we are bro it's no it's no different who is it who yeah. are you is simply black, aka JP, aka that kid. Cooking with black. You feel me? All right, yo, <laughs> hell, you back loud, bro. Cooking with black. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Right here on my side is Taster Coffee. Mr. Grunt's birthday party. <laughs> I like that. I kind of like that. But we didn't do it today. We didn't Mr. do it today. Grunt's birthday party. I wasn't fighting it. I'm yeah, fighting something else. I'm about to fight these two, but you know, rightfully we'll, so. Yeah. You can get a rematch, bro. Nah, you might win today. My back hurts. Yeah, nah, my my back hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, back yeah. hurts now, right? Yeah, and it's not because of that. It's comeback season, bro. It's not because of that. All right. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Once yeah. again, y'all know who it is. The demon in the mist. The evilest nigga y'all probably know. I don't know about Chantel over here, but probably the evil, evilest nigga y'all niggas know. It's me, Malik. She's just like, what did I sign up for? No, yeah, yeah. No. What did you sign up for? Huh? It'd be like that. No. Um... You had a you had you were educating us off camera. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay, so what I was saying before the episode is that St. Patrick's color, like it's usually green, right? Mm. Ta da! Right, but it's actually sky blue, right? Mm. But you know, I didn't really want to get into the nitty gritty of why that's the color. But I yeah, never, I never heard of this. You don't have a work cited for us. She well, does. I just still open on your it, phone. Actually, yeah. You, so, well, I don't know the details, but um, well, I mean, you just in the said original, it's on your phone. oh, should I just read it? Yes, okay. please. The color that people originally associated with St. Patrick was blue. Some ancient Irish flags even sport this color. Green was finally introduced to St. Patrick's Day festivities in the 18th century when the shamrock, which of course is green, became a national symbol. So it was his mm. robe that was blue, mm-hmm. um, and it was the shamrock that made it green. There we that go. That was like such a cool fact. I did yeah, not know that. There we go. There you go. Getting actual facts on the podcast. And speaking of actual facts, I want to talk about something that I discussed in, well, it was the last episode that came out, but by the time this comes out. Oh, I was like, nigga, is this a yeah. Raid Shadow Legends like fucking sponsors? <laughs> like that transition was wild. I we're sponsored by VPN. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't wait, I can't wait for you to hear. Sponsored by Nerd Wallet. No. Um, you going to correct yourself today? Yeah, yeah. So I want to just talk about something on the podcast. We always talk. We're hypocrites, first off. I just want to start. Wait, no, 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 don't say we. No, you, don't say we. You. 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 Let me cook. You. you. Let me cook. Let me cook. It was him. Said, weird. <laughs> There have been multiple times where I'll be watching back episodes and one of us will say something wrong. Today, I'm taking accountability for something I said incorrect in the last episode. Last episode, I said that America had better health care than Canada. Um, according, to, according to some lists I've found um, that 
Canada has the 10th best health care in the world, uh, and we are number 11, and it's quite a wide margin, actually. So I just want to uh, clear that up, that uh, I was wrong. America's health care is not it. good. And who Clip was it. right? All right. Oh, Clip man. It. <laughs> is this you saying sorry and apologize? I'm not, there, I'm not apologizing. I'm just taking accountability that I said something. I feel like in the heat of the moment when we're talking, we'll say stuff that's incorrect. Also, you did say something wrong in that last episode, too. What did I say? Taylor Swift has four album of the year wins, not five. Is it four? Okay. It is four. Okay. I mean, that ain't that big that, of a that, deal. That, that still too many. That's, that doesn't quite still, still. Yeah. still too many. At all. But, um, we're not going to get into Taylor Swift. Um, we're going we're gonna to jump into the uh, actual conversation real quick, but I just want to talk about something we were talking about in the car on the way here. Um, and this is a t- uh, question for the table. Um, Domino's or Little Caesars? Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never seen you with the Pizza Hut. Exactly. Yeah. Ever. Crossroads. Yeah. No wrong. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it, yeah. What are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they the racist ones? I don't give a fuck what they is. Oh no, I'm they're thinking they're they're famous. Famous. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what? They not calling me? A, yeah, a nigga when I'm walking through the door, like. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Was good, my the, yeah. Did you call my, him for the small half pepperoni nigger? Right, 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 right. yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, showing off and showing out. Yeah. Um, if I had to choose, it would be Dominos. Easily Little Caesars. Domino's. Little Caesars is literally bottom of the barrel. Bottom? Is, no, 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 no. It's not ball. bottom. Little Caesars. What about Papa John's? Right, Little Caesars is worse. Yeah, just sit the air. Really? You like Papa John's? No, you were I real quiet. In the like oh, I was about to say you was. Re- yeah, I was. <laughs> no, because I was. I was looking at the. <laughs> yeah, I was actually yeah, looking right. at the Little Caesars, Caesar's little like pizza poppers that they're like really trending on. Like, nah, I did her like hear those are like some slappers. Right now. Saying, they're saying it slaps and the sauces that it comes with too. You want to try it after? You want to go to Little Caesars? Oh yeah, for you sure. Go to Little Caesars? Yeah, actually. Come on, come on. Is it? They were saying it's like the hype of like. um the chicken, the sam- chicken, or the Popeyes like chicken yep. sandwich. The second yeah. coming, that's what yeah. I said. This is a marketing ploy. We're all <laughs> being swindled by corporate America once again. <laughs> Probably. You threw it out there. I'm just, you know, I'm just asking a question. Yeah, or Little Caesars. What, like, you say you, so he knows ball. He says Domino's. What you said, Little Caesars in the car. Yeah, it's not Domino's. For explain. Me. I mean, is there much to explain? You don't like Domino's. I do like Domino's. I think if we had more Little Caesars around, like if we had just as many Little Caesars as Domino's. It's like one like 10 minutes away from me. We you. would probably, yes. Do we live near, near Danbury, I'm nigga? I'm not going there. <laughs> exactly. Like there's a I'm Domino's down gonna... every one of our streets probably. Most like, likely, yeah. No, it's not one close to me. Okay. Well, Little Caesars is my answer. That's crazy. I would eat it more if Domino's weren't, you know. That's gross. Every five I feel like you're just away. going against the green. To be fair, just, they're both to go bad choices. No, they're both trash. <laughs> Yeah. The worst of um is the, the lesser yeah, it's, the lesser it's, it's, yeah, of two evils. Yeah, I've never had it, so I'm so very biased can, with Domino's, especially when I get the black pizza. box. Okay. That that hand. What pan, are we talking about? That black box. This was bro. a Domino's demon in the apartment. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, you were. I was. Yeah. I had boxes on boxes. That's not <laughs> something to yeah. That's not <laughs> Domino's yeah. demon. Yes. <laughs> Do you have um, uh, an opinion on this? So I've never had Little Caesars, so I can't say. But keep it going. Um, I will. As I said, it's just Domino's. Just it's more common. Yeah, more common, I mean, all. I do love. But here's another controversial for you guys. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Right, no, yeah. stop. Uh, get her out of here. Yeah. Right, Are you on. kidding? I will say this. All of you. I will say this. Yeah. I will say yeah. this. We'll catch I've you guys tried next. It, and it's not as bad as people make it seem. Yeah. It's but it's, it's still it's sweet and savoring at the yeah. same time. But so it's, it's something criminal. Yeah. Something yeah. should be put together on pizza, like grilled pineapple like got, and ham on a cheese pizza with tomato and all that. Is, is the, fire. The, the, the pineapple was grilled, so I was like, oh, maybe that's why yeah. it tastes a little bit better. Yeah, well, it usually is. They don't but put like fresh, but it's it'd be fire. looking. It'd be looking fresh. Sometimes. I mean, I'd try it. I guess you should. Are we talking you about tried, pineapple pizza, pizza from Domino's? Yes. Yeah, the pickle pizza from Domino's. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. The Hawaiian pizza was like my go-to in college for the drunk nights from I would, Domino's absolutely <laughs> it would be the only yeah. thing that was open <laughs> it was <laughs> they using those Bill Gate fruits on that pizza like nah that I'm not trusting pineapple from Domino's yeah I they, mean they put, it definitely they, okay. my stomach well, they put those pineapples all right, the well, dole yeah you, the dole pineapple right. got the, you to guys. preface though I agree that they're both not great I prefer like Colony but I mean we're Domino's. just privileged we live in Connecticut yeah Okay, before I transition off this topic real quick, what is your goat pizza spot? Like chain? 
No, or, no, just in general. Like, what do you think is the best pizza? If somebody's like, yo, you, I will let you have the best pizza that you can think of right now. And we live in Connecticut, which is the pizza capital of the the country. I thought it was... Uh, okay. Well, New Haven specifically. Yeah, yeah, Haven. yeah, I'm like... It's New Haven. I'm not going to lie. I'm a modern person now, especially like out of the New Haven. <laughs> yo, <laughs> nah. This guy I had modern, modern the other day. It is actually fire. What I say? say modern $22 is- for a small. It's worth it. I'm not ever it, paying that for a small. Twenty two for a small. For you. I'm, Stop. Yeah. Modern's good. I, I, pizza modern be that, is it. Pizza, pizza modern shouldn't be that expensive at all. Modern got it. Why is pizza okay. twenty two dollars? Didn't you say uh, pizza heaven or whatever? I didn't say pizza heaven. <laughs> I said pizza house in New Haven do does have it, and uh, Crossroads is a close second. I'd say Crossroads. Crossroads Cross, is a close Crossroads second. Is Crossroads is heat. I'll take that. Kayshawn. Pizza House is good. That don't even sound legit. Pizza House is good. <laughs> this modern, this Frank Pepe's that y'all talk about Kishon. didn't exist Frank like five Pepe. years ago. Yes, it did. Oh, where was no. it? Where Kishon. was it? 100% it did. Where, where, where was, was it? Fairfield, New where Haven is the Kishon. original one. They've been out since like 1945. Yeah. Okay, so why are you just now having it? <laughs> what you mean, modern? Yes. Oh, well, I just had modern for the first no, time. Exactly. Talking about two different but like Frank's and Sally's, they've been there. Okay. But Those are staples things. of New Haven. Yeah. Okay. You talking about we don't pizza live heaven in New and Haven. pizza house? No. Okay. I was at Southern too. I didn't say pizza they, heaven. He said that I bullshit. I said pizza house too. <laughs> I was at Southern too, bro. Did I know. Did you work for pizza heaven? <laughs> huh? Did you work for pizza heaven? All right. Now, right. <laughs> <laughs> now okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they cut me a check. <laughs> um, what's your goat? You said crossroads? I would say crossroads easily. Yeah. Easily. What's your goat? Put go? y'all on a crossroads. It was you trying to put us on happy? Yeah, yeah, you happy? Yeah, yeah. You happy? Trying to put us on Jordans, and Jordans was trash. Yeah. What was Jordans? Jordans is fire. Jordans is okay. Pe- it wasn't, tra- it wasn't trash. Yeah. It ahead. wasn't trash, Go but ahead. it wasn't as good as you hyped it up. Go ahead. There, yeah. I, I said this Crossroads is where we better. lose the viewership, by the way, by asking <laughs> about random foods um, that nobody cares about. My goat, my my Stanford goat is Sergio's. Stop that. They fell in all, they fall. You off. eat Lucy's. I don't want to hear from you. You don't know ball. I take it back. You don't know ball. You eat Lucy's. Lucy's is valid. I don't I don't hear much people talking about Sergio's though. Sergio's. Sergio's don't got it no more. Sergio's is elite is elite. Um but like all time, I don't know. You over here asking a question, you don't even have an answer. Yeah. I think Pepe's is better than Sally's though. Yes. I still haven't tried Sally's. Neither have I. I mean, Pepe's is 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 uh about to be in Stanford now. What's your what goat? Is? Pepe's. Oh no, I, I know. Um, <clears throat> I, yeah, I I'm see probably it every gonna get canceled, and your guys. No, you're you all said colony. You said colony. So yes, but no, so Colony's I'm highly rated. I'm dairy free. So the reason I like colony is because they have vegan cheese pizza, okay. and I have you're it with, with salad that? on top. Okay. So that's my go-to. Like a no salad pizza? Yeah. Okay. It's fire. Have you guys had one? I've seen From it. From Colony? I've nah. seen it. I haven't eaten it. It's fire. And okay. you don't feel like shit after. Like you feel good about yourself. Okay. You're like, because, I had a salad pizza. All it's right. Good. <laughs> Fits in my diet. <laughs> all right, well. So Colony is your goat. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't think I could cut cheese out my life, honestly. Oh, it's hard. Right, that yeah. shit is like addictive. Yes, it's like the same it. level of addictive yeah. as like, it. Um, he, he, what is it? In, in like what drugs. drugs. Yeah, yes. as cocaine, I think. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that didn't last cheese too long. Cheese specifically, I think I could probably do cheese. It's hard because no. every, like so many things you don't even think about have milk in them. Imagine or, like, cheese, a wait till you do that food. Dairy, dairy free, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait till you do that fruit diet. Fruit diet is nuts. The fruit diet is, bro, you're going to have withdrawals. You're doing a fruit diet? I did a fruit diet before. Oh, my God. How long? A month. How was that? That's dope. I was feeling like a crack addict. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. You remember um, the scene in Ray when he was going through the withdrawal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where's my water? Yeah. When she Fox. tells me her body count. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, on, to the, uh, on to the real topics. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, for the table, um, in a capitalist society, do you think it's truly possible to maintain a a real work life balance? Um, and percentage wise, what do you think a healthy work life balance is? So, if you, for example, like were to say, oh, forty percent work and sixty percent, um, it depends on wages and how much things cost in a capitalist society. It's not like 
obviously like you need to make money to survive, right? So for example, they said Bernie Sanders is proposing a bill of four day work weeks, right? Does that, but like no difference in pay. So if you work four days, anybody works four days, and if you're making the same amount of money, you don't have more money to go do more things. So you can have a life, but you won't have the money to, to do more. To fund the life. Yeah, to fund the life that you're, you want, the fun that you want to have, essentially, right? No, I think it's possible to do a four-day and still get 40 hours. JP. I work a nine-to-five. JP, that's not I what he work- said. JP, that's not what he said. What he's saying is, right, uh-huh. four-day work week, right? Yes. You're still working eight hours. Yes. But no difference in pay, right? I'll, I'll take that. You'll take Everyone that? Everyone would take yeah. that. Yeah. Everybody would take that. Yes. Are you making more money to have fun those other three days? I can find other jobs. You can. All right. So, I guess that you know, that'd be. Means, well, I think you know? it but also, that would defeat the purpose. It depends on like what is important, right? Because mm-hmm. for me, like I've worked in corporate America my entire like career, mm-hmm. and it's if you're drinking the Kool Aid, like you're like, oh yeah, I want to climb the ladder, right? But mm-hmm. for me, like I'm not a corporate girly. I that's like not what I dream of. Yeah. So something like that I would take and I would be like, that's dope because at least I have one extra day to like not have to do work and like mm-hmm. chill. Even yeah. if it's not the same pay. Cause I'm not gonna be getting a higher race anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, in the next like, I don't know, a couple months or something. Yeah, but then at the same time though, it's like um rent is still three thousand dollars where where we live. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's like, yeah, you can be yeah. working four days, but you're not able to fund your own apartment. <laughs> fund your own groceries. Eggs be eight dollars for you know a carton of eggs. So it's like you're not really getting. We need to be making more money. Absolutely, I agree. Not I less agree. days. But how do you think you balance that that line? Because I feel like our generation is the one that's like, oh, we're not trying to work like the past generations. We want to enjoy life. This, that, and the third. But like by by that decree, will we have less money? Than our than the past generations, it's just, a, it's just inflation in itself. Because I seen a video the other day, and the dude was like, "Oh, like, how much did you buy your house for?" You know, and she was like, "Yeah, I bought my house in 1969 for twelve thousand dollars." And then yeah. I checked the inflation calculator, and I was like, "How much was twelve thousand dollars back in 1969?" And it was one hundred and one thousand dollars. Can you buy a house for one hundred and one thousand dollars? Where? <laughs> yes, I can, nigga. What? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know who yeah. you're talking to? Yeah. Are you dumb? Do you know who men are? In Kansas. <laughs> in Kansas. And it'd probably be yeah, some. They're, they're but not where I would want to live. 100%. Georgia, you know? Not Texas. No. Not Texas. Not Texas. Uh, not Texas. And damn sure not Georgia. It's like really? booming now. A lot of people are, I don't know, like Austin, Texas. I know it's like. It, it's increasing yeah. in price. Recruits I mean, leaving. Bro, like, I'll be on even Zillow. Stanford, like it's crazy. You look around; they're you, building a new luxury apartment. I'm like, can you guys just build regular, regular uh, housing? Yeah. Like, yeah, seriously, yeah. can we be, yeah, build affordable housing? Like for 500 square feet, they're asking for because I'm apartment searching, and it's like they're asking for you know yeah, like 3,500 dollars for like 700 yeah, 500 square feet. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> like. What? You're not, I feel like they're acting well, like New York. Appliances. <laughs> I think that's yeah. what they're trying to grow. You want that stainless steel fridge? I know. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> we know you want that stainless steel fridge. Right? So I think it's just the bottom line should be, how do you make more money? I think five days Only a week. OnlyFans. <laughs> you, you going on OnlyFans? I personally can't, but you know. You can. Why can't you? You can. The inches aren't there. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> It's not about the inches, it's about the, the content. Uh-huh. It's not you about sound <laughs> insane. <laughs> JP. It's not JP. 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 What? JP. It's answer about the, the content, yo. Answer Did you hear what he said? I, I, answer, answer the question. The question. <laughs> no. Do you think a, a work-life balance, do you think it's like, can actually happen? Is it possible in a capitalist society? Can you really balance work and life properly? Uh, he really the slave right now. Yeah, so he, it's, he, it's, yeah, it's 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 yeah. I'm not even. I'm yeah, I'm not even supposed to be here right now. Um, <laughs> I want to say I. I don't know. I, it's just I don't know. But that's like everything. Also, I feel like some people work. I'm not shading you, but some people work because they don't have lives outside of work. So it's like all they know is chase a bag. What are you gonna be doing when you're in your off that time? That is true. That is, I I know yeah. someone that I mean they make six figures like over two hundred thousand dollars and they don't have any really hobbies like mm-hmm. at all yeah. their entire life is like work they'll mm-hmm. work until 8 p.m I'm, like, I'm going 
go do something like that makes no sense to, to well be i guess a it. hobby what would you consider like traveling a hobby, Absolutely. I guess? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 you know how many people yeah. don't get to do that a yeah. year yeah yeah because yeah. they're that's working true. exactly yeah. mm-hmm. but that's what i'm saying like, traveling is 100 percent a hobby though is it is it worth sacrificing like living life for no life oh. is it worth sacrificing life to make money i mean you need money to sh- you, yeah. survive but that's why oh, i yes. say <laughs> specifically like you know the the part of the question where it says like we are in a capitalist country so it's like do y'all choose to sacrifice life for well you got to do it a little bit i'd rather do it while i'm young facts you know versus so I can enjoy my older years my yeah. golden years well the older you get and the more you know established you get with like you get a family you get kids wife I mean, a lot of that's you, not that's, goals for that's a lot of less people time, is that not goals for you you don't want that i mean maybe I feel like it depends on like the person, right? Like for me, I like I said, I have the side hobbies and I do want to be like a full time entrepreneur one day with mm-hmm. like, you know, I, honestly, like a nomad, like kind of what we were talking about before, literally like living on an island or like living in Bali, mm-hmm. working from my laptop and just traveling. But I'm not drinking that corporate Kool-Aid bullshit, because if 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 you drink that, the work life balance doesn't exist. They like yeah. literally suck you into the company. It's repetitive so, too. Yeah. So yeah. I think it also depends on the role, right? Like if you're working for Amazon or if you're working for we'll say like Papa John's or like mm-hmm. I don't know, down the pizzeria or like in the city, like that work life balance is gonna be different because if you need money, you're gonna be hustling. But mm-hmm. if like you're like, Okay, I have some, like you're gonna wanna balance it more and does that people, make sense yeah and some people's jobs are fun too like people enjoy yeah. their jobs that's why they always try to tell you like get a do job that you yeah. enjoy mm, yeah. right so it's like if, if you, you do what you enjoy, enjoy yeah you will never work it yeah yep. you're not gonna have a problem working yeah. one extra day if the five days a week oh, i don't care it's just one extra day of a good time i guess so i don't know it's all subjective like yeah because i feel like every episode i feel like yeah. it's a lot easier awesome. now today because a lot of people do work from home so legit like you are doing ubering and you were on, you were, you were on, you know, doing your job on the phone, he on snitched. the laptop. Now I'm on the laptop. I am, I am he live. Ran, no. Back in five years. He just snitched. No, yeah, but this, this, this was back then. But no, but yeah. see, but see, but I but it's, it's, it's a lot easier, though. That's I did thing. that in the beginning. Like, that I was in the beginning, now. yeah, but I feel like for a lot more people, like, people are like, parents are able to, like, stay home and work, you know, and be with their kids, enjoy their life, be in their life and stuff like that. So I think it's a lot easier now today to have that work-life balance compared mm-hmm. to, like, before COVID and stuff like that, where, like, I saw like a tweet where like I was like my nine to five job won't be able to like see um go to your store where it's like nine to five in that sense. So like it's kind of diff it was difficult back then in that sense because like you're too tired to, like go to that um other business or you know and they close like two hours after you get off. Like do you want to go to another shop after you just pull like a full like nine to five shift? I think it goes in though with like if you want to hustle in like your twin like what you were saying. I think it's a a healthy combo of like you want to hustle so like you Mm. can kind of, you know, build like a strong foundation. But then you also want to like live your life because tomorrow's not promised. Like we're Mm -hmm. assuming in the 30s, you know, we're going to do this and this. But like we're going to be lucky to wake up tomorrow type of thing. So it's like don't forget to live while also, you know, working towards goals, I guess, would be my answer. So what's your answer? Um. Next question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I mean no, because you know this one. This one, he's not. He doesn't. Uh, really well, that. I asked a few questions. Um, so, are you talking specifically about the uh, the part where I'm asking if it's possible to balance? You want me it to or? ask you? So, in layman's terms, nigga, do you want to work or do you want to just live and have fun? I mean, I am. I'm aware that you have to do both. Like, you know, um, but obviously, which one are you I'm doing? Yeah, a, which one are you doing currently? I mean, y'all yeah. know me. Like, I'm more of a I'm gonna go live my life person over slaving a bag. every day. So. Um, but why is that the case, though? Because life is the more important one. I mean, li- like, like, is the it work, work not part of life? Yeah, but like, when you're put on this planet, your job is to be alive. Yeah. Okay. Working comes along as you grow up. You know what I mean? Because the responsibilities come with that, and you know you're expected to do that. But even within working, you have to be alive to do that. So, you know. What's the point of working if you're only working? I mean, I meant to say it backwards. I I meant to say it the other way around. What's the point of living if you're just working? I understand what you're trying to say, right? When you're born on this planet, right, there are certain things that need to be done, right? 
So yes, you are supposed to live your life, but you are supposed to make money. If you don't have money, you cannot survive. The point of living is to survive, to see the next day, right? If God gives it to you. So with what you're surviving saying, and living are two different things, but continue. How? They're different. They, they are. They are. Yeah. Because are you living or are you surviving, Correct. nigga? Yeah. <laughs> like, are you? I think surviving is like trying to get to the next day, right? Okay. Like right. living is it's like less, you, it's less fun. So do you feel yeah. like you're surviving or you're living? I feel like I'm living. Cut that I have shit the. Out. I have yeah. Cut <laughs> that shit out. Yeah. I mean, go, go I'm off though. For myself, go, yeah. like you know what I mean. I'm gonna speak for myself. Uh, I live my life like you know what I mean. I don't know about everybody else at the table, but you know, I have the the privilege of being able to do this. I have the privilege of being able to make music. Like those are things that keep me alive. I, so like, so it's if you're not, not able to survivor. do those things, then you're not living. I feel like, in general, if I'm not able to create, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm off the top of a building. Jeff Hardy, Swanton Bomb, off the top of a building. I mean, hey, you got it on. You got it on 4K. You got it in 4K. You say, you know what I'm saying? So, so you would never want to basically just get a nine to five. I haven't. Well, not technically nine to five. But no, but like. Not a job the ability to not create really anything, but just work a nine to five. So just, just a corporate working? job, a corporate job, and then you know on your weekends you spend time with your family, your friends, and that. Depends. I mean, I don't know, but like I feel like there has to be more to life. Like there has to be more to life, and just for everybody. If you're just if you're just working all the time, what are you saving this money for? What are you putting it aside for? This country, society, and what we're bred and taught is. This is the American lifestyle. Like, this is the American life. We go to work Monday through Friday and the weekends. To be fair, they call it, they brand it as the American, American dream. dream. Yeah. The American dream is whatever it is. It's on a case-by-case basis, though. So if your dream is to be a, a gold medal figure skater, then that's the American dream. Because how many countries can you go for that? If a, if his dream is to be the biggest streamer on Twitch, that's the American dream that's not because the common like, American dream though, the common American dream the, is the white picket fence. Well, no, the the American dream is the concept of being able to dream and uh, and actually strive for that dream and achieve it. Like so, that's the American dream is a concept. It's just on a case by case basis. So whatever the dream is, it's the fact that you can go for a dream and possibly accomplish that dream. Okay, so let me ask y'all this then. Do you think the American dream is still a thing? Because that's something that they yes. used to say. Of course it is. Yes. You you think so? Yes. People okay. still fly from like they come from Africa, you know, other other third world countries. It's just, the just immigrant to come. American dream. Yeah. Like, and it I has don't a, think it's our I don't think it's dream. decreased. I know Trump is like trying to decrease that, you know, like um immigrants um in the country or in, in the in the United States, you know. There was like a I think a thing where it said like you want to if you get selected, he wants to deport every immigrant <laughs> Yo, this and, the ch- and the children of the immigrants as well. So, like, even if you were born here... It's Yo. crazy. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get on, on that yeah, because nah, I have a lot but, to say you know, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that, was that was about to go much, off the know. rails. But listen, yeah, no, because I, I, I will cut all of them out of there. Yeah. No, nah, I'm not going to get into that. I think the American uh, dream is still alive, but I think that our perception of it... Oh, sorry. But I think our perception of it is different than someone who, let's say, is coming from Mexico, Mm -hmm. who lives in a dirt house that, Mm -hmm. you know, doesn't have the opportunity to be a musician or an artist. So when they come, it's like, oh, wow, there's opportunities, there's foundations, there's schools, there's, Mm -hmm. you know, so I think it's it definitely does still exist. But it's I don't know. It's definitely a a little distorted than what it was. Of course, it still exists because. We see it every day we open our phone and we look at, and we open these apps and we see these people doing what they do. Kai Sinet is the American dream. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, fucking, fucking. You would love to sit there and play video games or do nothing not on camera. No, I just did. I did it. I literally just said I wouldn't want to do that. Video games are not everyone's Would like, you rather? Dream. Hold on. Y'all are just too literal. Think big. Think outside the box real quick. I know what you mean. Imagine Would I you rather doing do what whatever he's doing? you'd want to do. Whatever you're passionate about, whatever you love, and you're just getting paid to do that, more than you're getting paid now, and, and some. Like, living, really living. You could go, if you want to go to Greece tomorrow, you go to Greece tomorrow. Like, 
that that like that is the American dream. If I were to sit here and ask Kai Sinet, yo, are you living your dream right now? He'd be like, of course I'm living my dream. Where else can I do this? I mean, there are countries you can do it in, but like, but like this side of the world specifically is more, it's more, you're more uh, likely to be able to achieve this based on like the Western. Yeah, go ahead. You, you watch the NBA. How many times do you hear NBA players talk about, I love the game. I just don't like this. Like, I don't like the NBA, right? The dream is to get to, no, because that's exactly what you just said. My dream was to be in the NBA. You hear all these basketball players talk about how they don't want to be in the league. I, I don't like this. How? That was their dream. That was the American dream to do something that they loved. They don't love it anymore because what they're doing. That's that's, that's on the individual. That's why I say the American dream is on a case-by-case basis. If you don't love it anymore for whatever outside reasons it is, I don't think most of them are saying it. I could sit down with most of the league and they're going to say, man, I'm, I'd rather be doing this than working at CVS. No shade to people that work at CVS. But like, you, if you make it to the league, you, most people that ever live will never touch the amount of money. Like, even if you're a bench warmer, these bench warmers are making $25 million a year. Yeah, that they'll and, make $25 million a year. It's like, do they love it, though, or do they love the warmer, brand? But like, like, people that sit on the bench. Role players, yeah, like, like, you know, a role player can make 25 to $30 million yeah, like a year. a seventh man makes about 15 to $20 million. Yeah. yeah. And everybody's coming to America to try and achieve the dream. If you are a basketball player from overseas, where are you coming to so try and a, achieve the dream? Why do why do Americans want to leave America so bad, but then foreigners because want to come here so bad? That's a whole other conversation that I will have on a different episode. I Mer- Americans are, they have the privilege of being privileged. They have the privilege of being so, like, you're American. So you have the ability to say you want to go somewhere else. So I will say this as my closing argument because I know where this kin head is. That I know where the kin head, but I'm I, but, I'm never right? arguing with an American that says they hate being an American and living in America. I'm not even going to take you serious or take the time to have a conversation with you. So like what what I'm going to say is this: I have said many of times before, I will definitely leave this country. Okay. Like I have no problem doing that. We we're just talking right? about that. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But it does seem. Like from the last episode and this episode, you're very fond of America and how it is built. I mean, it's dick riding. Fond of America, like, I, all you I'm are. Saying, <laughs> I mean, I, I, you I, are. I don't know anything else, but I am also grateful that I was born and raised in America. But what's great? What's, what's grateful about, about it? Like, like, what are you grateful for? I have oh, the shit, freedom. Man. I have the, I have the freedom of. I have freedom. Nigga, yeah, I mean, beatboxing. in general, <laughs> I have freedom in general. I, yeah. I'm not beatbox. I'm answering the question. Like I have freedom in general. Because last time you said, "Oh, America's one of the greatest countries." You looked it up. Down in the top ten, yeah. <laughs> not top ten in healthcare. Yeah. Damn, not even top ten. Yeah. yeah, not top ten in foods. Not top ten in shit. They not top ten in nothing. We talk about happiest citizens. I bet you're not gonna be in the top ten of that either. People hate it here. What do you mean? Happiest citizens, like living in a country. Like if you look it up, morale well, but that's of citizens. What I'm saying. People, not top it's, ten. It's a divisive country, right? Because, uh, I mean, we're a very political country, and that divides people a lot of the time. Every so country has politics. Lot, yes, but like we're, like we're a very politically obsessed country, right? We're like so. It tends to um, divide people in that way. So. These people, I'm not saying I'm the biggest patriot. I'm not. I'm not gonna have an American flag on my front porch, but you know, America has its issues just like every everywhere else. Would I want to live anywhere else? I've never known anywhere else. I've never lived anywhere else. Do Have I have a country? I've traveled outside the country. Yeah, yeah. You've been to Africa. I haven't been anywhere that I've been like, yo, I would live here instead of America. We're gonna take that trip to Sweden. Let's see how you. Let's see how you. <laughs> That's talk. fine, but like. Um, I, you gonna love it there. I, I now mind you, I it's one thing to oh, you, especially you. Yeah. <laughs> you pointing at me? Oh, all right. I'm like you too. <laughs> you gonna love it there. It's it's one thing to want to leave your state, but um, country? No, you have the freedom of being able to get on camera and talk about your. You could talk about. A leader in Trump, you could talk about, or any leader, right? Without being executed. It sounds like you're talking about communist countries. Like, I'm not saying, hey, let's go move to Russia. Putin gonna but get us what going. What I'm saying is, 
you you see communist countries you see the, it's like you want to go to north korea do you or do you want to be in america like well, i mean i think anybody yeah. would say extremes. america yeah. Bro, but, I, but exactly a lot of people jim uh jimmy from north korea well his name's not jimmy but you know i'm not gonna say anything racist but whatever this guy's name from north korea who's just born and raised in north korea and somebody's asking him like yo would you move to, move out of north korea it's like he doesn't. He didn't have the liberty of being able to be born in a first world country and have the, the the option to leave or the freedom to talk about many, like freely. How many countries do something like that? How many countries what? Are like communists. Like you can't talk about how bad the country is. There's quite a few. Quite a few. Like I don't have a number like, count. I, I but can do ten fingers. Or ten, ten. I don't have a less. number count, but like you know, there's some Middle Eastern countries that don't play this uh, freedom of speech shit. There's North Korea, there's Russia, like. There's also some in South America, I know, mm -hmm. but. There's there was a few in South America, but yeah, like you can't just <laughs> talk. But I did want to say yeah, really quickly, just because I'm going to forget if I don't. Yeah. Um, I agree with you about America and like the freedom portion of it. Mm -hmm. I have, so I'm half Mexican, half Colombian. And so as a kid, I would go to Mexico a lot mm -hmm. and I have, um, you know, wealthier family, but then I also have like really not wealthy family, like very poor. Mm -hmm. And so going there, it's always a reality check. I remember one summer I went and I had wanted like this like watch that was, I think it was like $300. And I was in high school and I was like, oh, all upset I didn't get it. I go on this trip and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why am I tripping about this when there's people that mm -hmm. like don't have running water mm -hmm. who, you know, can barely have food and like there's no support from the government. So like I don't hate America in any way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Would I move out of America? Yes, but not because I hate it so much, just because, like, I love to explore the world. Like, I love to travel. Um, I'd move somewhere like Spain or I was just telling him I'd love to open up, like, a tiki bar in like an, on an island and, mm -hmm. like, just, like, That's meet dope. people from all over the world. Like, that to me is, like, dope. But, yeah, so that was just my... Yeah, um, beautifully put. Very beautifully put. Americans are spoiled brats. That's just what it is. They're spoiled, they're spoiled fucking brats. Low key. Going low key. elsewhere, you're from Haiti. Well, you're not from Haiti. From you are from yeah, 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 yeah. I'm off the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, he speaks good English. Yeah, you're about to get me out of here. <laughs> you're of Haitian descent. Yeah. <laughs> Trump going to, yeah. You're of Haitian descent. Your parents are Haitian, right? Yes. They're from Haiti. Yes. When you guys, and this is me talking you're, to you. This is me talking to you. i the entire hold episode. On. This, this is, what, is crazy. When you guys, these are people listening, people watching. They hate America so much because it's so. It's, it's capitalist, a capitalist country, and it's this and that, right? When you go somewhere else, like a Haiti, it puts it in perspective um, about the life that you live here. And you really ain't got it that bad. I promise you. It, 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 you, you know, you, I don't know who's listening, I don't know who's watching. It might. You might have it bad, but I promise you, you go other places, third world countries. That's what you're comparing America to, third world countries. Well, I'm talking about a country that this guy's from, or he's fr his pa family's from. Compare it to its peers, I and mean, then that's a conversation that we can have. The U.S. kind of fucked Haiti over, but uh, we're not going to speak They rape that. and pillage we every talking, country they, uh, they go the into. The U.S. Not had not use that word it. on this platform. <laughs> Like <laughs> the U.S. had a part in that, but it was France. I, you blame France. blame France primarily for the destruction of Haiti. You, could they could they could support? Yeah, yeah of course they, they can still they, support. Yeah. They ain't doing it. Like that. I said, America is not. I'm. This is not me being a patriot. Again, this is just. It's not me being a patriot. You asked me would I move somewhere else? I would move somewhere else in theory. You said Americans are spoiled brats. They are spoiled brats. Absolutely, I stand on that. Anybody not saying that. That's just that's just ignorant that you wouldn't say they're Americans are absolutely spoiled brats. Oh, one hundred percent. As a black man in America, you can't say that. Why can't I say it? You can't say that. And that's what I don't fuck with. Because there are say that. Because there are guidelines I have to follow. You're not supposed to fuck you. you I, said, say, I didn't say supposed you say, to don't I said say you can't up, say that. I'm gonna say down. I don't you give a fuck with y'all. Nobody can tell that. me what I can and you can't, can't say. That. You okay. can't tell me what I can and okay. can't say. You look up statistics of black people in America and then you come back and talk to I'm, me about America. I'm a black man in America, you, you, Malik, you last time I checked, and I'm living a good life. You're living a good life? Yeah, I'm 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 doing solid. You living a good life? 
I can't speak for what I can't speak on his I can't speak on his pockets. I'm tired of niggas talking about America and how great it is. I can't speak on his pockets. As a black man in America, I don't know. I don't know what's in that man's pockets. I don't know what's in his pockets. I can't speak for his finances. Somebody can say that. This is on camera and do not edit none of this shit out either. <laughs> Move on to the next topic. Move on to the next topic. I can't. I don't know how he's living. You got to ask because him. Because that doesn't him. even make any sense. Is your is your life bad, Malik? Do you My need life, to talk to somebody? What? Is your life bad? Okay. Because you're a black man in America? Okay. Okay. Is it? Look at the is. opportunities that are presented for black people. I understand. Come talk to me. I understand. I understand. No, is, you don't understand. You just said we're spoiled brats. You just said we're spoiled brats. Did I say black people are spoiled brats? You Did said Americans are spoiled brats. In but general, as a black man, you cannot sit here and say that we are spoiled brats. What I'm are you not talking about? You specifically. I'm not I'm saying American, black right? people. I'm an American, right? I'm just saying Americans, Americans are spoiled spe- brats. Yes, absolutely. Did I say what group or what? what you said group? the group is Americans. I'm an American. Correct? A lot of Americans That's are spoiled brats. Yes. No, say a lot now. You said Americans are spoiled brats. Once again, you're comparing us to third world countries. Compare it to America to its peers. In Canada. Would you rather live in Canada? Yes. yes. Okay. Move to Canada. I, I, I will try to. Yes. I do. I, I do. I already said I do not want to live here. Okay. I will try to move to a different country. You want to sit here and stand on America's this great ass country. Please tell me I how it's great. I didn't say tell that me how at it's any great. point during this this Because the last episode you couldn't even tell me that America was a top ten country in the in the fucking world. You couldn't. So based, in Denmark, based Finland. On, based on quality of life. Quality Techni- of I guess life. technically it would living, not be. Right? Living. But quality I'm of life, not top from 10. My personal experience and people that around your me. Your personal experience, VJ. Think about that. Your personal experience. How can you sit here and say to me I'm talking that this about is a my tent- personal experience. Oh my. I also feel like Americans are spoiled brats. If I'm, you. Go ahead. I'm going to add <laughs> go something ahead, yeah, quick. Go ahead. Because go ahead. Please, yes, niggas please, be please, making please, noise. Man. I, no, I'm just going to say that I think everyone's entitled to their own opinion, mm, right? Of like. Course. When it comes to perspectives, what he just said, like, my life is, you know, great. I like it. And you're saying, like, well, you know, we're not spoiled brats like X, Y, Z. I think your perception, just because he doesn't agree with it, doesn't make it untrue and vice versa. And, like, I don't know. Like, I can't relate because I'm not a man. I'm not black. Yeah. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm a Latina talk woman. But, like, I can't relate. I can only support and, like, view and have my opinions, mm. you know. But I think everyone at the end of the day, like... We're all human beings at the end of the day, just trying to, like, live our best life. You know what I mean? So, like, (laughs) when it comes to topics like this, it's like so many times I see people having, you know, their opinion and someone being like, oh, that's wrong or this, this. And I'm like, it's an opinion, though. It doesn't mean it's not fact. Like what he's saying is not a fact. There There are statistics that can prove, though, that things are not treated equally. That's just that's just fact. For, exa- for example, right? So the American dream, it, it all makes sense, right? <clears throat> right? The American dream exists. So mass incarceration for black people, right? A lot of these black people were in prison because of selling weed. Is that not a fact? Is that not true? Yes. Yes? Right? You can agree, right? So when weed became legalized in some of these states, people stayed in jail, people stayed in jails, right? But when it came for black people to try to get legal weed dispensary businesses, do you know what happened? Does, does anybody know? No. Because we're so great, right? Okay. So what happened was <laughs> black people were not granted these businesses, but all of a sudden all the white people were granted these businesses, even though some were criminals, literally on registries for the, the R word, since I can't say it, right? Yeah, don't say but it, still got yeah. these businesses to sell weed. Black people, upstanding citizens, were not able to. No criminal record, perfect driving history, if that they want to count that, in finances, all out, upstanding. Couldn't get these businesses because what? What? What is the? Where's the disconnect? Where's the problem? It seems like because they're black, mass incarceration. It's minorities that are in prisons that get longer sentences. How many people do we know that? Let's be serious. Get prison time for stuff like that. You shouldn't. You see white people not get prison time for, mm-hmm. or they get a probation, or they get a slap on the wrist. Don't tell me that this is the American dream. Do not tell me that this shit is fair. This shit is what not fair. What you just described, no, is not the American dream. You asked, does the American dream exist? I said it did. You're talking about something else. Did I say America was great? I didn't. I'm just saying that two things can be true. Did you say it was great? 
He didn't I, say it was great. We might have to. Yeah, yeah. we okay. might have to. We might have to roll the clip back. Oh. We might, yeah, we might have to. Yeah, we might have to roll the clip back. Brats for something that's not great, though. My ears. It's it's not great. But we're spoiled brats. I don't know. Make it make sense. My you ears. Know. But my again, ears. again, you put topic. You put words in my mouth. I never said it was great, and I didn't say it wasn't fucked up. Two things can be true. There's nuance to life. There's duality to life. I've never seen somebody be spoiled for something that's not good. That doesn't be, make sense. You, if something's not good to you, how can you be spoiled? We're not gonna say people in Haiti are spoiled, are we? Can we say people in Haiti are spoiled? No. Why? Why? Is, is America Haiti? Though? Why can't we say people in Haiti are not spoiled? Because it's not great. They're, they're struggling. <laughs> okay. They're so surviving. if Americans are spoiled brats, that means it's great here. It doesn't have to be great. It could just be good. Oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Please good. move on to the next topic, please. I cannot I cannot do that. I can't. I can't. We can agree to I can't. disagree. There's, and there's we no disagree. You just don't understand what I'm saying, though. Like, I oh think that's gosh. just what it is. Oh my <laughs> This anyway. how it is uh, arguing with me. <laughs> this how it be arguing with me. <laughs> but what did I say that is is not being understood? I don't know. My ears turned off when y'all was actually going back. Me and JP was over here. Let's talk to the people down on the streets. The not generally to, speaking. That nigga has to work two jobs to survive. <laughs> yeah, I, barely. He's trying to survive. He's surviving. He's surviving. He's working three doubles. He's, 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 he's working six days a week to survive oh by himself. DJ, no. Bro, have a good day, bro. Have a good day. Malik is off this episode. I'm, I'm done for the rest of the day. No, I'm off. Malik, come back. No. Yo. Have a good day. It's giving survival. It's giving survival. Are you surviving, JP? I'm, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> it's giving survival. Like you, you're hitting up this man, Kay Sean. Like yo, hit some parlay. You know, get get your money up. You 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 ask him to survive because you know he's he's not he's not doing as great as he is. Is this true? You feel like you're surviving? I'm I'm definitely not where I want to be and working two jobs. You can be not be where you want to be, but also are you fighting to? Do I'm you not, have to work two jobs? Do you feel like you one hundred percent? Okay, that's fine. But that's fair. also because I. I want better for like you know working one job isn't like that's just not cutting the cutting it for me it's not, yeah. like you know what I mean. So he's just, like, just gonna say stagnant through and through. Yeah, through like working one job is cool if I want to be outside, you know, every weekend. <laughs> but like, don't. I mean, in even with like you know, yeah. So it's just like <laughs> I am. I guess what what is it trading my time for money? Mm -hmm. But it's better to do that. For, yeah, because then I won't be able to pay my bills. So it's like it's like an investment, basically. Full circle, You're like yeah. yeah, full circle. I don't. Yeah. I'm not enjoying it, but it's you know yeah, I'd it's rather. What you got to do. Yeah, and I think that just comes with also being a man. To be honest, it's like you know nobody's going to come and fucking save you. I think like, that you got to survive regardless, though. No, because I mean, not man. to put you out there or anything, but if you weren't doing what you know you were doing for work, current like it would be very easy for you to you know gain money by the end of even tonight if you wanted to like you yeah. know what do you mean by that yeah <laughs> we know like, what, yeah, you, yeah, you know what, what i mean like, <laughs> whether, you know what i mean whether <laughs> yeah it would be very easy for you to gain a, a second source of income or another source of it illegally obviously but like you know it you know versus us and you know us leaving here like it'd be like damn i don't know what i'm gonna do I got to hit up Mom Dukes or something. Like, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure your family obviously would help you if you were yeah. in a financial bind. Yeah. But it's like, you know, I think what he also was trying to get at is that, like, yeah, not to put y'all on blast, uh -huh. but it's like even just, you know, being black and coming from, you know, I don't know, like I middle class, maybe it's like you're still going to have like you're going to you're going to need some help somewhere along the line because, you know, you're I don't want to say your family didn't set you up for life in that way mm -hmm. so you know what i'm yeah so yeah so there you go there it is you don't so. have generational wealth nothing DJ, like that you know uh, <laughs> I, 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 all right, all right. Well, yeah. so like you know versus yourself i don't know what's in your pockets but like you know what i mean it's like you said i will say i i'm very grateful obviously we went to school together up until like freshman year of high school mm. uh my parents put my brother and i into like private schools tried to for years um, and I am very grateful for that because, yes, in public Stanford public schools, can you have opportunities for sure? But having friends that, you know, went to West Hill or Stanford High and then me going, you know, to a private school and kind of seeing this level of support when applying to colleges or 
all of the extensive, you know, internships that you're able to get, like the opportunities are very different. Yeah. So I'm 100%. very grateful that, you know, I was able, but if I went to stay, I don't know if I would be in this position. You know, I don't know what I would I be I always doing. do wonder if I stayed at Trinity, like how my life Your would life be would be different because, the opp- like she said, the opportunities, like, you know what I mean? And not to bring it back to like a race thing, <laughs> but like. Well, it, I was the, uh, I, you know, at Trinity, I mean, same, but even at Trinity, there was more diversity. Like at my school, me, I think there were like three, four like Latinos and like a handful of like African Americans, like right. everyone else was is a predominantly white yeah. school, yeah. Greenwich based. So like, you know, definitely different you funding it, and everything. Yeah. Probably kid, yeah. So, and not for nothing, <laughs> private school is it's expensive. So it's Hell like you yeah. know what I mean. It's like yeah. Yeah. just like I don't, yeah. Again, I don't know what's in your pockets, but like you know what I mean. My, you know, I wasn't you know nobody in my family went to no private school. You know yeah. so. Like, you know, that should tell you. To be fair, though, I ain't pocket watching, but if we're talking about families and having money, you know, big reason. But that's not that's <laughs> yeah. not me, though. Like, you know what I Like, yeah, and I'm not entitled to but, my mom's money. Yeah, no, like, you know what I mean? That's going in your pocket, though. But that, and that, it goes back to what I was saying before. Like, even being a man, it's like, yes, I know my mom would help me if I needed it. But it's like, at the same time, it's like, I think it's like, you know, just being being a man, it's like nobody's going to come and say like even clearly like, you know, me, no, I'm not going to be like, mommy, can you please help me? Give me? Like, you know what I mean? She's going to be like, don't you work like, you know, it's like, nigga, you work two jobs. Go. Yeah. Go continue to get it yeah. just like I had to go get it. But like, you know what I mean? It's just I don't know. It's just very different because she also had, you know, her mom and dad growing up. So it's like, I don't know. Yeah, Aww. yeah, world small yeah. advice. The world small. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, that nigga left, but um, <laughs> let me transition. Um, could yeah, I mean, yeah, right. nice to yeah, nice to do it. Um, Twenty minutes after he asked, <laughs> he probably would have been on the rest of the episode. Yeah, well, what if, right? I guess so. Yeah. Um, they say in a relationship that the uh, the man has to care more for it to work. What are your thoughts on that? I think I saw that on Twitter. Did you? Yeah. Did okay. you steal it from uh, Twitter? What do you? So what I, do you people mean? just say that. I so guess. what do you mean, like? Care, Twitter like, stole it from me. Like, like, like that a man <laughs> has to like love the like girl love, more. Or what? Like he has to show more affection. He has to do more things. However, y'all interpret it. Well, yeah, my boyfriend ahead. Ahead. is sitting right outside, right, so right, I gotta right. answer very carefully. All right, <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, or I'm gonna be walking <laughs> home. Um, Let him know. Honestly. I think it definitely, I think it it can't be like, oh, he's like obsessed and like you don't like him. No, like they're definitely like you have to also love him. But I think a man and a woman obviously are very different when it comes to relationships. You're just even this conversation before talking about being the provider, you know, wanting to be uh, the provider in relationships. Same type of thing. It's like um, a man, I think that is in a relationship to a certain extent, maybe needs to, at least in the beginning, maybe uh, like the girl a little bit more because I don't know. I think a girl, it's easier for a girl to, to I think, fall in love and to, mm. you know, follow a man that's kind of going in the direction that, you know, he wants to go. But when a guy doesn't love her as much as she does, usually that's when like cheating happens and you don't really care about, you know, she'll complain and you're like, I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm going to leave type of thing. <laughs> From my perspective and my experience, like this mm. is the healthiest relationship I've ever been in. Okay, um, and I know I'm very. <laughs> I'm going to ask a very. I'm going to yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm ask a very extreme question, but go off. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I, one of the biggest differences is, I think, just like the level of love and care uh, presented, because, you know, the more I see it from him, the more I want to give it. And I think a girl is a reflection or a mirror of a man. A woman is a, a reflection man. of her man. And so, yeah. And so if you Do are... I move? No, it's fine. If Is it weird that there's an empty seat now? <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be the same shit. Yeah. We'll put a cardboard cutout of him. Just put like a, a picture of him, you know, yeah, after he... You can uh, move it to the corner if you want to, I'm just saying. You can't cut it in editing? <laughs> cut it? Yeah, just fucking yeah, like fade, fade it out. Yeah. Like yeah, just fade it out. Nah, I'm just, just put something. Put a fucking picture. <laughs> put it. You know he gonna be. Yeah, like, yeah, put it. Put that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, off his Instagram. He'll be, yeah, just make it look like he never left. Actually, you know, just cut to. Yeah, yeah what you do know? you think, Malik? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <so>. Silence. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no. To answer that in short, um, 
to a level, to an extent, yes. Because I think if you love a woman and you show, you know, a lot more, I guess, she'll match it. That's kind right? Of. I don't, th well, it depends on the woman, right? Because not every, I, I mean, yeah, there's like good women, girl, yeah. there's bad women. Same with men and women. Like, or yeah. excuse me, men. There's yeah, good yeah. men and there's bad men. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah. Because I think women do have. Hold on, I, my bad. He's to being messy. Off. I want to see what you're gonna say. What are you gonna ask her? Yeah, he's so, got like this. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's like ready. No, um. So because right, it's like you said, this is the healthiest relationship. Yeah. Do you think that has anything to do with the color of his skin? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> um. Well, he's the first yeah. white guy I've ever dated. Okay. Um. Culturally, so it's in, no, it's uh, like yeah, once yeah. Leaves episode, no, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I didn't it's turn, I didn't turn yeah. into Malik. It's I'm just turn. <laughs> continue because I'm. I feel like I'm trying to think. Because there's and a lot honestly, of you know, there's a lot of science behind it. It's like this is also no. the no, no, I don't let her. I, I'm going to no because she said this is the <laughs> the first white man that she's been with and the healthiest. I think that's very fucking interesting. Well, At your well, how old are you? I'm 28. Yeah, that's yeah, very yeah. interesting. That's very. That's very interesting. I mean, just it could also be my poor taste in men in the past. Yeah, <laughs> take some accountability. I like that. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, but maybe I'm, a lack of yeah. self love and but go like ahead, that go kind ahead, of stuff. Go ahead, go ahead, though. Um, I don't know because I've also, you know, encountered really great, black you know, men? Mexican, Hispanic, black men that you know hold themselves to high regards, are respectful, are kind. There's definitely a difference culturally. I mean, you know, even with me and him, like I'm Latina, he's white. It, sometimes like there's things where I'll I'll say something and it comes off like super rude or like sassy and I'm like oh I didn't even mean it like that and he's like oh okay where in the past it would have just been matched or it would have you know been like oh whatever gotcha. so like I don't know that's a hard question to to I mean, answer I, I don't like, know if if it does I feel like most of our female audience would just go on the all five of them and be like you know no matter what color men ain't shit. <laughs> You know, it don't matter. Uh, White, clearly black, hers Hispanic, is. You know? I mean, I mean, clear, yeah, clear, yeah. So uh, there's, there's good in every race. Like it doesn't matter I agree. if it's he's white, black, Hispanic. I think he's Muslim, just a good guy. You know, you know what I like, mean. And like, it, they're, they're, there's they're generally good guys. Like exactly. Yeah. There's good guys you know? in every ethnicity and every color. And there's also bad. Were you able to find them though? And and you know, in your experience, that's what I'm saying. It's like I think, not you know to dunk on your man or anything yeah. it's like i think it's interesting that you decided to i don't know i'd say date outside your race and yeah. just find success immediately being with somebody who isn't your color that's yeah. all do you want insight for yourself Kish? i mean it's not insight i just <laughs> I, I just think it's interesting like no i'm not no i you know what i mean it's like i i wonder why it would you know you it, tend to do this all the time though who cares and then when i when i show you examples of that not being the case you're like well and then the goalposts move. What's the goalposts? What? What, are, what, are, your, what did I do wrong? Your theory, tell me if I'm wrong, is that, let's say, for example, JP were to be with a white woman. He'd be the happiest. For it to automatically <laughs> work outside of being with black and Latina women his entire day, I'd say that's very interesting. You don't think it's a coincidence, maybe? It's just it might, the person, not the color? I don't, I don't know. But it you could, would chalk it, could, it up to the color. I already know. It could be both. It could be both. I think it's just very interesting that's I all i think with women it's different but men it's con very consistent very if that makes sense okay. i don't like, understand yeah i feel like with yeah come on so clean like up. with men like you know because he threw yeah he threw like, you under the bus like i didn't like throw a you a lot under of us bus. are like built the same you know we're all good in that sense but there are times where you know we run into temptation um, stuff happens and stuff like that, but I feel like with women, <laughs> oh, yeah. you are talk, you talking yeah. about cheating? Yeah, yeah, in that I'm, sense, yeah. Yes, yes, I'm about yes, to move yes. over. <laughs> what it yeah, is? I don't, yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I might move over here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like with women, I am now Malik. It's different. <laughs> it's different because, um, like um, a lot of our you know um black sisters, um, they're very strong headed, very independent, very, um. More to themselves in yeah. that sense. Niggas are compared to like cha -cha slide with the mics. a white woman who's like more submissive, more um All right, JP. understanding. Uh, this, 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 this is just this based is, this yeah. is just based off my experience and like what I see. Yeah, white like submissive. Yeah. You have submissive but, white women? <laughs> yeah. yeah you? But like it's it's in a sense easier. Ooh. Sadly, yeah, clean hence, it up, hence, clean it the fuck but, up. Bro, but you see, you see Walk why, though. Carefully, you see, my bro, good you see why? Because yeah. you see how NBA players like more, hen more better. <laughs> go you ahead. You see how NBA players just go more for like you know white women 
or even like out dating outside the West, especially like black, black men and stuff like All that. All right, JP, hold on. I, I'm going I'm to let you. F- no, I'm not going to let you finish. We're just going to. I'm going to reel this back okay. in. Let's let's address the actual question, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, man and woman are relationship. The man has to care more for the relationship to work. True or false? False. Okay. Elaborate. Um, so I, I recently learned this and I've like seen this, um, to care, it goes back and forth because there'll be days where like, let's say I care about my partner more than she cares about me on certain days and she'll care about me. Yeah, I agree with you, but I think generally speaking, there's usually somebody who cares cares a little bit more. It'll be the female. I feel like mostly. I disagree. I think it's again on a case by case basis, bringing it back to the, the topic at hand that made him walk off. Um, I think it's on a case by case basis, though. I think that's kind of very presumptuous to assume that it's always it's a general woman. statement to say that oh, all women are the ones that care more in the relationship. They care the because I've seen I've seen guys care more. Oh, of course, of course, but they get walked on a lot of the times, don't they? Well, I think it depends on the type of woman he's dating. That's true. Because that's if true. if he's dating someone that's like oh, okay, but he's gonna you know, do everything I want or whatever. Yeah. Like for someone like me, I wouldn't like that. That would be very boring to me. And yeah, because like, they're, I wouldn't like that. The guys that care like a lot, they're labeled as simps, but mm-hmm. if girls do it, they just do it because that's like, there's no label behind it because that's just who they are through and through. I just want to ask you guys, what do you think a simp is? Like when you think of a simp, is it a good thing, a bad thing? And what is it? Um, And I'll tell you, like, I'll just. Um, What, what does Dr. Umar say? Uh, <laughs> You ever seen his breakdown of the simp word? Nah, no. It's nah. like, uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, I think. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I think a simp is whatever you want it to be. Uh, like, would you consider yourself a simp? For certain women, probably. Okay. I'm yeah. a big simp. Yeah, I'm a big simp. Yeah. So, do you view it in like a good light or a bad? Oh light? yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a catch. I think <laughs> I'm a great catch. What is it? Wait, no. She. I think she's asking if like you think being a simp. Being is a simp good. is good. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. All right yeah. yeah. Um, why, I think, why do you think that? Go ahead. Yeah. It's. Has it gotten you far in life? <laughs> it, it has. I'm not shading you. I'm it, just it, asking. It has, honestly, because I feel like it's just my character at the end of the day. Because I don't want to be like stoic or nonchalant and stuff like that, because that's just not myself. And even if like myself, like, I respect these, that you're aware of yeah, that. <laughs> even if myself, he said doing, I can't like, turn it off. Even doing like these like lovely gestures, building gazebos and and houses yeah. and yeah. shit like that. Not the notebook. <laughs> but, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> and if, if if it's labeled as simple, then yeah. But like it's just like it's just my character of how I show affection mm. at the end of the day. So mm. if I'm if if be, me being super affectionate is calling me some, I'm I'm the biggest sim ever. Because I feel like the <laughs> word. Go ahead. I know you got something oh, to say. Oh yeah, yeah. You go. You go. No, no, no. I was just, I was just referring. To you. Like, that was adorable. Thank you. Thank that was beautiful. Yeah, the lady's gonna eat that one up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he going. The camera gonna turn, turn up. up. Yeah. <laughs> it was all bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I only ask ones. because I feel like sometimes that word in society is like deemed. It's not like in our. It's, I think it's just in our community. It's like I, I, I hardly. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. Do it again. Do you ever think you call your boyfriend a simp? Would I call him yeah. a simp? Um, no. Yeah, Sometimes can be, can be very, very, very sweet, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Like for me, when I think of simp stuff, it's very different than society. I feel like sometimes mm-hmm. society is like, oh, he's a simp because he's doing, you know, what she asked. I'm like, it'll be very um, bare minimum things. A guy and, yeah, is bars doing what his girlfriend asked that's going to make her feel special. That makes him a simp. Whoever's calling him that is. A bitch, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, kindly put. Say that, right, like I'm, if you're judging some guy for being sweet with his girlfriend and exactly taking care of her, and like if she asked to, you know, can you do this for me? This, and some guys are like, oh, you're like yeah, he's such a bitch. He's a simp. It's like, but you're probably single, and right. mm-hmm. you're probably like, you know, out here treating girls yeah. like trash. So what is that? So, yeah. yeah, I'm just a girl. It's like <laughs> no, you're actually the devil. But yeah, <laughs> go off. Yeah, so, I think yeah. Uh, a simp is, you know, whatever you want it to be. I'm not just going to um, turn off, like, you know, kind of JP was saying, just because it's like, you know, it's, it's like that's. I think simp is sweet, actually. That would be my definition of it. Simp is sweet? A simp is okay. a sweet guy. And yeah. so I would say that. Yeah, Sean if I like you enough, I, yeah, sure. Call me a simp. I don't you, know. Um, so you think, uh, the like, the question at hand with the, um, do you disagree with that? 
what? If guys care. That, if, if, got, if oh, the guy okay, cares. Yeah, we're reeling it back in. Um, you said, like, if the man cares more, then the relationship is at risk? The guy has to care more for the, for the relationship, relationship to, work. to work. Do you believe in that or... Um, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Cause I feel like, I mean, I guess, you know, just in my experience, um, when you do care more, it's like you're deemed as, I don't want to say the simp, but it's like, you just tend to like your character just tends to, to be more simp ish. It's like, you're going to want to check up on that person. You're going to want to do nice things for them you're going to and then like women yeah and but shouldn't you want to do that you should want to, to the do, right woman like see, okay yeah i think if you did that to the right <laughs> to the right woman like yeah. she would exactly she would reciprocate that you know like the energy you give is stay but if you're i mean if you're with someone that's like wanting you for your money or like just to you know be with then like a hundred percent yeah you haven't been listening i am struggling yeah i am surviving <laughs> if you think i got bread um <laughs> Yeah, you haven't been paying attention, but um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So, I guess for the right one, yeah. but I don't, yeah, I don't. Because I feel like some, the right one some, is subjective like too, girls, though, right? Yeah, I feel some girls would like take like if a guy cares too much, he's a little desperate. As I said, it's like it comes you off know? as soft. But I think that it, that comes again, depending on the woman. Like yeah. a oh, yeah, healthy, sure. confident woman will prefer that over some guy that's like playing games or like playing hard to get because I think and I am a walking testimony I guess is like mm -hmm. in the past I would go for that kind of guy because it's she's like talking about the niggas, validation by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. she's talking about yeah black yeah. Yeah. yeah she's talking about uh, niggas by the way no. yeah um, you don't have to shy away from it's, it and it comes from again it stems from like a lack of self love self confidence mm. self like you're like trying Single to seek validation families. when yeah. you know who you are what you bring to the table if mm. someone is trying to play in your face you're like okay move like bye and whoever's kind whoever's sweet whoever's like caring for you that's the person that I want to be with you know, mm. so if a girl, mm. again, case by case, but if a girl is taking advantage or, you know, like, oh, he's a bitch for doing this, like, da da da, she has some work to do on is herself. Is a girl going to call opinion. a guy a bitch for doing something for her? She wouldn't say that. But. Like, he's sweet, you mean? <laughs> like, he's soft? What do you, Did you mean? No, like no, I thought he meant, like, if a, if a guy was, quote unquote, like, you know, being sweet with her and the girl's, like, oh, like, he's sweet. Like, I'm not, oh, like, okay. call, She's viewing being a him bitch. In, a, oh, in a different light. Okay. Yeah. A girl broke up with me because um, I was being too nice in middle school. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, in middle in middle school. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's but, different. And though. that's why that's, I have that's problems. Different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nigga got his heart broken in fourth grade. The reason she broke up with me because my boy wanted her and he was jealous, so he kind of swayed her. So. Damn, Are you not guys still dirty friends? macking. Yeah. 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 What? So <laughs> it's middle school. Nah. It's middle school, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I didn't know until like legit. Two I wouldn't have been my boy no more. Facts. I wouldn't have been my boy no more. Over a middle school girl? Yeah, bro. It's the principal. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell him to square up. Um, well, uh, we have come to a close. We are about an hour in. Um, this episode didn't go how I thought it was going to go. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the friendship yeah, we, has, has ended. lost the member. Uh, <laughs> is he still in the building? That nigga uh, left. He, yeah, no, he, he left. Oh, yeah. shit. Um... <laughs> Chantel, I don't know how you felt. Uh, I don't know what your experience was here. Uh, maybe we'll have you back if you'd like to come back. Um, it seems that most of the time, for some reason or the other, it, I get the vibe that the guests don't want to return <laughs> after. <laughs> yeah. Makes for good content. Maybe not for uh, a yeah pleasurable <laughs> experience for the guests. But um, I thank you for coming. Yeah, no, thank um, you for having me. I had a really great time and like Did you? I, I did. Yeah, I, yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. I hope did to you? come back. Yeah, okay. All, All right. right. Yeah, you're not right. just shucking for the camera. Um, that was bad. Niggas said. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. uh yeah, we uh, again want to thank you guys for watching the slandering table. Um uh hit that like, subscribe, you know all the things you got to do. Um and uh we'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs> we'll see you later. Peace. Can't hold me up too quick. Can't hold me up too damn quick. Can't beat me up too sick. Can't beat me up too damn sick. Can't hold me up too quick. Can't hold me up too damn quick. And still, it feel like I tried out the limitless pill. And I could do anything within my will. I'm wildin', I'm wildin', I ain't
patient still and deal I'm sitting on top of a meal like ovens and saunas I ain't got no chillin' If we get busted, I'm paying a bill I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm keeping it real These niggas so gangster till they see the steel Pause, I'm coming for niggas and even they draws Pause, I'm coming all ladies and dropping they draws And all of the audience sitting and waiting, I got them in awe So keep it in order, my word is the law and that's word of the God I don't hold them all white